Welcome to Mr. Criminology, where we share for you to learn and succeed. In this video, we will be discussing the crime of violation of parliamentary immunity. Violation of parliamentary immunity The crime of violation of parliamentary immunity is governed by Article 145 of the Revised Penal Code. Under Article 145, the crime of violation of parliamentary immunity is committed by any person who shall use force, intimidation, threats, or fraud to prevent any member of the Congress from attending its meetings or of any of its committees or subcommittees, constitutional commissions, or committees, or divisions thereof, from expressing his opinions or casting his vote. It is also committed by any public officer or employee who shall, while the Congress is in regular or special session, arrest or search any member thereof, except in case such member has committed a crime punishable under the Revised Penal Code by a penalty higher than prison mayor. Ito ay isang krimen na ginagawa ng kahit sino sa pamamagitan ng paghadlang o pagpigil sa mga miyembro ng Kongreso at iba pa upang dumalo sa mga pagpupulo nito o ipahayag ang kanilang opinion o pagbigay ng kanilang mga boto. Nagagawa din ito sa pamamagitan ng paghuli, paghahanap o pagsusuri sa mga miyembro ng Kongreso habang kasalukuyang nagaganap ang regular o special session ng mga ito. Maliban lamang kung ang miyembro ito ay nagkasala ng krimeng pinapatawan ng parusang masigit pa sa prisyon mayor. Mula sa nabanggit natin, may dalawang act na pinaparusahan ng Article 145 o Violation of Parliamentary Immunity. First, using force, intimidation, threats or frauds to prevent any member of Congress from attending the meetings of Congress or any of its committees or subcommittees, constitutional commissions or committees, expressing his opinions, Casting his vote Unang pinaparusahan ay paghadlang sa mga miyembro ng Kongreso sa pagdalo sa mga pagpupulong, pagpapahayag ng opinion o pagboto. Take note po, dito sa una, ang offender po dito ay kahit sino, basta ginawa niya yung mga bagay na nabanggit. It is not necessary that the member is actually prevented from exercising any of his functions. It is sufficient that Congress is in session and the offender, in using force and intimidation, threats or frauds, has the purpose to prevent a member of the Congress from exercising any of such prerogatives. Second, arresting or searching any member thereof while Congress is in regular or special session. Ang pangalawa naman ay pag-aresto o paghahanap o pagsusuri sa mga miyembro ng Kongreso habang nagaganap ang regular o special session ng mga ito. Ang offenders naman dito ay yung mga may power to arrest or search. What is the reason behind this privilege? Presumably, this is to enable them to attend to their legislative duties. They cannot therefore be arrested unless it is for a crime punishable by more than 6 years imprisonment. This privilege attaches to the legislator by virtue of his office and is enjoined by him even if he is not actually joining the sessions of Congress. Anong klaseng arrest ba ang sinasabi natin dito? The immunity from arrest covers both warrantless arrest and arrest by virtue of a warrant. How about session? Ano ba yung session na sinasabi natin? The term session refers to the entire period of time from its initial convening until its final adjournment. Yung session po, yung year-long regular o special session, hindi po yung araw lang na nagpulong sila. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to share it and to subscribe.